Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 4x squared over 16 to the power of x equals 64. Now, 16 is the same thing as 4 squared. So I'm actually going to replace 16 over here with 4 squared. So we have 4 squared to the power of x. And we have 4 to the power of x squared as our numerator. And 64, well, this is actually equal to 4 to the power of 3. So now, as you can see, all our terms are of the same base. We all we have terms that are all have bases of 4. So now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is actually the same thing as a to the power of m times n, meaning 4 to the power of 2 to the power of x. This is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2 times x, or also known as 4 to the power of 2x. And our numerator is 4 to the power of x squared still. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m minus n. So 4 to the power of x squared over 4 to the power of 2x, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of x squared minus 2x. And this is equal to 4 to the power of 3. Now, because these two terms have the same bases, and that also means that our exponents here, these two are the same as well, meaning x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. So now if I subtract 3 on both sides, I get x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to zero. So now, as you see, we have a simple quadratic equation. So I'm actually going to plug this in to the quadratic formula. So negative b, well, b is negative 2. So negative of negative 2 is positive 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 3. Now, four, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. So we have 4 plus 12, which is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4. So we have 2 plus or minus 4. 4, and we are going to divide this by 2a. So a is 1, so we're dividing this by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now this gives us two equations, or two expressions, 2 plus 4 over 2. 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is one solution, and we also have 2 minus 4 over 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. So negative 1 would also be another solution. So these are our two solutions to this problem.